Okay, in the previous few videos, we were talking about programming languages, and um, I am going to use one IDE. I think I mentioned that before, but what I want to do is I want to focus on three core languages. Um, I'm going to focus on C, C++ for the desktop, right, and that'll cover Windows and Mac. I want to focus on PHP for the web and for smartphones. So uh, when we use PHP, we're going to be able to cover, again, any web browser on pretty much any, any platform. But it will also develop applications for the iPhone and Android. So that gives us the benefit uh, of, of using, you know, one language to cover multiple platforms. And if you haven't covered, if you haven't programmed before, then we're going to have an introductory um, to programming and we're going to use uh, basically Pascal. It's a, it's a teaching language. People use it. Um, I'm going to get in trouble for saying that. But people... Uh, people use it for production applications, don't get me wrong, but it was started as a, as a teaching language. And again, if we look at this index, we can see that, you know, again, the C's, uh, C, C++, Objective-C, um, the adoption rate is, is tremendous, and so kind of numbers speak for themselves. But we will cover this. You will be able to use it. Um, uh, it's a great introduction. At some point, if you're trying to find a job, right, I, I can look at the market share here, and see that I'm more likely to find a job using one of these other languages. So we'll use this for teaching purposes. We'll use this um, uh, b because of the adoption in the industry and because of the portability. And, and there are libraries that cover uh, pretty much every platform. And so being able to use those, those libraries. And there's so much open source work that is developed in these, these, uh, these languages that uh, it's really just a language to know. And PHP is, is pretty dominant in the web. And again, this is going to cover all of our platforms. Now, why I said I'm, that I'm going to use a specific IDE, um, I mentioned Rad Studio. Uh, it's from Embarcadero. Again, they have a, again, I don't work for them. Don't know anybody who works there. But for me, having one IDE to cover multiple languages is good because I don't have to relearn this. Now, while I'm using that, they do have an introductory version. Don't think that you have to use that. So each one of these languages have their own um, IDE, and I'll try to cover those as well. So if you want to follow along uh, using free uh, source, then you can do that with all of these languages. Uh, if I were to start down here, uh, Pascal, there's a, a free Pascal, um, and it covers Linux, Windows, and Mac. And if you want an IDE for that, there's an IDE called Lazarus. And so you can develop GUI applications that will cover Windows, Linux, and Mac. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's currently in development. Different um, platforms have different levels of, of functionality, I guess is a good way to put that. But it does cover all three. It's free, it's easy to download, install, and that's a good way to get started. Um, we're, we'll cover with C++. Um, there are different, a lot of different IDEs you can use there. Code Blocks is a good one. And again, we'll cover installation um, for some prominent IDEs for PHP. So pick a language. We're going to cover all three of those, and this will give you basically coverage of all the, the major platforms out there. Again, you can even tie into Twitter and Facebook. So you can use the IDE that I'm using, or you can follow along with your own IDE. What will change with the IDEs is uh, the GUI ability, so the graphics ability. So while the language is typically supported on all major platforms, the IDE that you use could be specific. So I mentioned C++, Code Blocks. Um, Code Blocks is great for developing C++ on any application, but uh, the GUI API is just not there. So if you're trying to develop this graphical user interface, um, at some point you're going to have to, to, to pick, pick a flavor, whether that's Visual Studio, whether that's Rat Studio, or whether it's Xcode, um, you know, you, you'll have to, to, to develop on one of those. Um, again, Lazarus will cover all three of those, but it has some limited um, capability on, on other languages. And then PHP, you'll pretty much be able to pick what you want. So we'll cover the languages. You can pick the IDE or follow along with the one I'm using. Um, but I hope that helps. So next set of videos, we're going to start installing this stuff and uh, getting going. So. Stay tuned and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.